So, day two in the West Highland Way. I've just left the campsite, left Salaki, nice campsite. And I'm just trying to find my way from the campsite back onto the West Highland Way. Now this is gonna be a sore one today. My feet are gnarly, they're mangled. So uh, got a lot of compede and stuff on them. I think I'll be putting a lot more on by the end of the day and I've got a good 20 miles to do and I need to get to the campsite unfortunately I'm running a bit late because I get held up at the campsite so it's going to be a tough day, I need to keep a heavy pace so wish me luck morning morning keep yeah. doesn't want to talk, alright I'll keep going got to admit the weatherman said it was going to be rainy this week. I think the weatherman lied. Right now, I'm on the beautiful, beautiful banks of Loch Lomond, or the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond, I should say, um, which seems like a nice place to be until you realise I have to clear this today. I have to go way over there, like all this way, right the way around, and clear all of Loch Lomond and get to Inverarnon before the sun goes down. Should be fun. So I'm not gonna lie, this underfoot is a freaking nightmare if you cut your feet up the day before. Also, it's really, really loose and there's so much of it. This part of the walk just seems to be very up and down and up and down. Thank goodness I have trekking poles. Say what you want though, it is quite scenic about here. And if you turn around here, Loch Lomond. And a bug landing on my thing. Get off. One of the things I'm not liking about today being sunny though, apart from the fact I'm ginger and I can't survive in the sun, is all this bracken. Um, usually I would have my arms covered up, but it's too damn hot, so I'm walking about in a t-shirt. But, this bracken is where ticks love to lurk. So yeah, I'm getting a wee bit paranoid about getting some ticks falling on my arms. So I've got a bit of a sweat on now. Let me show you this. This is what I mean by up and down and up and down. <sighs> Like, for somebody with a sore knee and weak legs from the day before, this is kind of treacherous. Also, there's parts where you can just fall straight into Loch Lomond. And there's a wee guy out in his boat. Okay, first break of the day. I was planning not stopping until lunchtime, but man, this is taking out of me. This is a hard bit. So I'm going to chill out, I'm going to drink some water, eat a banana, try and get some feeling back in my legs, and then I'm going to plod on. Oh. This is a nice wee break from stones. Oh. Uh, so, this should give you an idea of just how far I've came so far. But, still got a long way to go. I came from right over there and way around the corner, back at Salagay. 
Uh, but I've still got a bit to go. Getting there. It really is very Lord of the Rings up this way. Especially that bit with the big bit of moss. Very nice. Aye, and now it really looks Lord of the Rings. It's definitely a bit Middle Earth looking. What in the back there? God knows what this building was. Pretty cool though. Wonder. So I've been walking through these woods and we've got this wee house here. Now, is it a bothy or is it a murder house? I don't know, it looks a bit creepy. It looks like something that a horror movie. So uh, I think I'm gonna just keep plodding on. Man, this day is really hurting. I'm not so much tired, just my legs are so sore. I really busted them up and I busted my left foot up a bit bad yesterday and because of that I think I've been overcompensating on my right leg and because of that I'm now getting serious pain in my right knee um, which I need to watch I need to watch? I need to watch because um, that's the knee that I tore my meniscus two years ago so I really don't want to uh, mess that knee up any further than it already is so I'm just going to have to be sensible I'm going to have to take more breaks today I'm just having a wee sit down and I'm going to have a bit of a stretch, drink some water and then I'm going to get back to it. I'm stopping for lunch in about an hour or so. So, yeah, that is my status update for now. In loving memory of Bill Lobin, Lobin died 23rd of November 1975 and made the supreme sacrifice in saving the life of a friend. And Obviously everyone that's walked past uh, has left a tribute. Don't know what the full story is, but when I get home I'll definitely Google it. So I don't know if you can see that, I've taken a wee break. But the knee is getting pretty swollen, it's getting really sore. It's starting to change colour a wee bit as well, I think it might be bruising up. <sighs> I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, I'm still about two miles outside of Inversnade. And then after that I'm still a good... Good hour to an hour and a half outside of where I'm meant to be. Um, I'm probably just going to grab some lunch. Fill myself up with painkillers. See if I can find a knee brace, well, a knee support, and uh, see how I get on. Don't know if you can see that through the trees. I think that's like an aqueduct or something. Yeah. I'm essentially just proving that I'm still walking. The Great Trossachs Path meets the West Highland Way. I am here. Pretty much just the inverse need. And I tell you what, as pretty as Loch Lomond is, it's good to see some signs of civilization. Okay, so here's the deal. I've just left the inverse need bunkhouse. Um, apparently taxis from there to Inverarnon are astronomical. Um, it would take about two hours for a car to get down and get back up and all of this type of nonsense. So that's out of the question. So it looks like I'm walking to Inverannan after all. Uh, I think there is a kind of halfway point. So we'll see what kind of pain I'm in once I get there. I really am quite sore. I took a wee bit of a rest at the bunkhouse there. Like when I say a rest, I sat on a wall. I uh, stretched out a wee bit. I've taken some uh, ibuprofen as well. 
So hopefully that should combat some of the pain. So uh, I hope I survive this. I swear to God, Mother Nature is trying to freaking kill me. <sighs> oh yeah, I know I'm a bit slippy, but the rain's starting. So Rob Roy's cave's back there. If I wasn't running out of time and in serious agony, I uh, would have popped down and have a look. But I'm not going to do that. Well, that is me at the end of Loch Lomond. And uh, the end of my physical and mental capacity as well, pretty much. Well, I made it to Benglass. Uh, stoated in at like half past nine. Uh, my legs were so sore, and when I was walking the trail, some people on the trail were saying my best bet was to catch the ferry across the water, and then I would only have like flat road to walk on, so it would probably be better for my knee. So I did that, got the ferry across, I walked it, I think it was like two and a half miles got to the bridge across and the bridge was shut for repairs so that was a pain in the neck at this point it started getting dark so I had to walk the whole way around which was like another three maybe three and a half miles so I probably would have been better just staying on the, the original path anyway I got into Bain Glass and <laughs> sopping wet up to the bar uh, looking a complete mess, looking like I was ready for crying and the guy behind the bar told me that one of the pods was empty, someone uh, cancelled it last minute so there was no way I was going to be able to pitch a tent so took the pod anyway I'm absolutely gubbed, I need to get some sleep um, I need to decide tomorrow if I'm actually going to be able to do day 3 because my feet are mangled and my knee is so bad just now. Okay, good night. So, it's day three. I've just woke up, uh, tried to have a wee walk about. My legs are still pretty mangled. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing today. Let me show you the knee. Yeah, it's not looking the prettiest. It's got a bit of colour to it. Hell of a lot of swelling. Um, but today it's only meant to be like a, a 12 miler, I think. Um, it's from here to Tindrum. And that should be a pretty straightforward flat walk. So, I don't know. I'm going to get up, have a shower, pack all my stuff, and then decide what I'm going to do. Well, that's the last day in the West Highland Way. Not quite as far as I would have liked to have gone, but when it comes to injuries, you can't take these risks. But, at least I got to experience views like this. So I'm gonna go down to the bar, have a few wee drinks, and wait for my lift. 